All right, guys, so listen, we had a really good project that we're going to be working on here over the next couple of uh, weeks for you guys. We're going to be building a garage on this slab, and it happens to be 20 feet wide here in the front and the back, and it needs to be 30 feet long. So we're going to go over, we got the, the concrete pad already poured, and now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we squared this uh, slab up. So even though we, we tried our hardest when we when we built the frame on this slab, pan out a little bit for me, um, even though we tried our hardest when we when we boxed in this slab, it's always going to be off a little bit here and there. So what we did was when we came over here, um, we measured from outside to outside on this on this slab, and up front here it happens to be 20 foot exactly, but in the back back there, shoot back there, in the back back there it happened to be 20 foot and one quarter of an inch, so it was a little bit too wide. Now. We're going to walk back there. We're going to show you what we did. Come on back. All right, so shoot that camera right here for me. Why don't you stand right up there for me? So if we take a look, when I first came over to this slab, I measured in uh, four inches from the outsides of everything. And the reason why I did that is because our wall is three and a half inches plus our plywood and that's gonna be four inches, three and a half plus a half inch is gonna be four. So we came in four and we put a set of crosshairs on all four corners. And since this back here happened to be a quarter of an inch too long, what we wound up doing is we had to come in an eighth of an inch here, and we also had to come in an eighth of an inch on this side. So I'm gonna show you if you, if you can you see this right here? Can you see this blue line? Yeah, I zoomed in. So if we, you don't need to zoom in, you can zoom back out. If you take a look at this blue line right here, you'll see how I came in an eighth of an inch from my original line, all right? So I came in an eighth of an inch. Now, luckily on this pad here, when we went this way from front to back, down this way, when we went that way, it was 30 foot exactly. So our four inch lines right here were perfect. Now, I'm gonna explain this once more. Remember from the outside here, so this first line was my four inches, but since the entire slab this way was a quarter of an inch too big, I had to come in an eighth of an inch this way. And if we take a look down here, grab that pencil lad. I also had to come in an eighth of an inch right here as well. So that's not a big deal. That just means that we'll have an eighth of an inch of the concrete um, hanging over right, uh, hanging over on the wall. And that's not a big deal. Uh, we're gonna be in good shape. Yeah, stand up, please. So the next thing we did was we snapped a line. If you take a look, all the way down that way, all the way down this way, and we did that on all four sides. So there, the front, back here, back here. And then obviously, just like we do it at school, we took a tape measure and we went from corner here to kitty corner back there, and we made sure that this measurement here was the same as this measurement from here to here. And that measurement wound up being 30 foot, one and a half both ways. So we were 100% right on the money. So next thing we're going to go over is how to lay out some walls. And we'll get some building on this.